Hi guys, it's Kylie the Jellyfish. Today I'm going to make a video about using beard oil. I don't have a beard though. This video I just wanted to start out by saying is completely not sponsored. This is purely because I love the company. So for Christmas, I bought a lot of people things and um, anyone that has a beard in my life, I try to eventually at one point or another get them some beard oil because beard oil is magical. Particularly this one brand that I love now is called Badass Beard Care. They have different scents. So there's one called the original, it's sandalwood and vanilla. The ladies man, which is lemon and vanilla. The biker, which is patchouli with sandalwood and peppermint. Uh, the mountain man is pine and cedar. The Viking is white fur and orange with clove. The Patriot is cedarwood, tea tree, rosemary, and patchouli. The Pirate is bay leaf and lime. The Secret Agent is unscented. Um, Bushwhacker is lemongrass, eucalyptus, and citronella. The Royal Knight is earl grey tea with lavender. And there's one called El Barista, which is coffee. It's straight up just coffee. But um, And then they also have a four season scent thing where it's like if you're in that time of year you that's the only one you're able to get um, and then once you get into the next season there's another one so I actually I got four little tiny samples of like the premium package um, trial kit or whatever um, it's really cute because the little oils are this big they're so tiny they're like the size of my thumb I got the seasonal scent, which is like the holiday or something, and it's orange, peppermint, and chocolate. The Bushwhacker, um, the Royal Knight, and I got El Barista. Uh, that's, those are the four that came in this pack, but um, I smelled them all. They all smell really awesome. I can't imagine, like, I, I love the smell of coffee, but I wouldn't really wear it. The Royal Knight is actually my favorite. The Bushwhacker is very, like, herbal. And I like that, but it reminds me of something else. Like, there's something that I know that has a scent that I just can't pinpoint where I've smelled it exactly before, but it's probably the lemongrass or eucalyptus. Um, and the seasonal scent really does smell like orange and chocolate. Like, that's, it's exactly what it smells like. And it's a good smell, but, um, it's just a very strange smell to put in your hair or your beard. Oils are very good for you, and these oils are legitimate oils that are good for your hair. Faces like don't really produce as much oil as the scalp does so beard hair while being thicker also is drier because it's not coated in the same amount of sebum as our scalps produce for our head hair. Um, so using beard oil is very important and it's probably a, I'm not exactly sure about this but I, would, I would think it's a higher concentration of the oil so it's thicker. I wanted to try it out on my hair because my hair right now is particularly very compromised. All I did was rough dry it today. My hair is like mostly damaged within this front piece. What I did want to try though is one of these uh, oils like on the front of my hair and I'm gonna go throughout the day and just kind of see if it feels good or see if it's too heavy because I just kind of think if I were to like put a little bit of beard oil into hair masks because if you mix oil with deep conditioner treatments and stuff um, it makes a really nice treatment to put some oil in it and especially my hair like my hair feels dead looks dead doesn't do what I want it to do unless I put oil and I actually just bought this um, Wella Oil Reflections oil and it's it saved my life like it makes my hair look and feel amazing but um, I wanted to try out these oils so let's just get started instead of me talking but I'm gonna do the the coffee one I don't know what I'm gonna do with the beard wax I think I'm gonna give it to friends because uh, I don't I can't think of what else I would use this maybe put it on my eyebrows I don't know but it's like a kinda looks like a lip balm but it's a beard wax first on my finger smells exactly like like a uh, coffee bean like if you were to walk through the coffee bean aisle in a store wow it's authentic <laughs> oh my god so I have like a little bit on my hands doesn't feel too thick or anything okay yeah it does actually But um, these pieces in my hair up here are all broken, so like it's all breakage and death in my hair, which is why I wanted to concentrate it 
at the front. Someone's in my house. I think this oil's pretty nice, and I, I've just put it on a little bit, but like... I think a little bit goes a long way. I would just put a little bit in my hair. One second. Like I said, um, I'm just putting it a little bit in my hair right now, but uh, I would probably most likely put a squirt of it. Eyedropper things, it kind of looks like this. Uh, it's glass and has like the squeezy thing. Uh, put one of those squirts into like a, a, a hair mask and see how that works out, which I think I'm probably going to try to do that next. It's just an interesting idea. So if you guys have a beard, try Badass Beard Care because they are awesome. Like I love the fact that they have all these scents and you can be like, oh, I'm a biker, I'll do this. And, or, oh, I descend from the Vikings. Maybe I, because I'm a Viking, I should have the Viking one. But yeah, let me know how you guys feel about putting beard oil in your hair or if you have access to beard oil, go buy some and put it in your hair and see how it does. And please let me know because I'm curious to see if this this could be a thing. And now I smell like coffee. <laughs> a little bit on my hand. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm gonna... Okay, I just, um, I just straightened my hair with the oil in it. It still smells amazing, and it actually made my hair so shiny. I didn't put any other oils in my hair, like even though I have other oils. I will admit it feels kind of heavy on my hair, especially because my hair is not the thickest. It's kind of fine, but especially if you have thick hair, beard oil would be kind of a good option, I think. Um, and this is also all my opinion, but um, I'm, going, I'm going to hair school next month. So I'll learn a lot more about what's good for your hair and maybe I can make a follow-up video on this if you guys are interested. I just think, like, I just have this new fascination with beard oil, but I think the fascinating part about my fascination is that I don't have a beard. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. My hair just looks and feels a lot healthier than it did before, in my opinion. So yeah. Stay big, bye.